Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is Physical Design course where we shall be looking at some very important and interesting topics for those who are in professional and engineering world. In this video, we shall be looking at CMOS inverter construction and characteristics. So this is a CMOS inverter where this upper transistor is a PMOS and this lower transistor is NMOS. This is nothing but just an inverter which is made from complementary MOS. So complementary MOS is nothing but combination of PMOS and NMOS. And if you see the symbol, it will be simple NOT gate only. So this Q will always be A bar. So VDD is your output high, if the VDD is your power and VSS is your ground. This is the basic construction of circuitry level uh, symbol of CMOS and if you look at the graph it will be something like this where you have this uh, side it will be let's say this is your VDD and this is your VDD then the graph of output characteristics will look like something like this now this we are going to explain that what are the different regions and what are the level of voltages and how does it perform so what happens is when you see that your a is zero so let's say your input side is zero at that time your pmos is zero and here also it will be zero but this zero turns on so your vdd will flow to the output so when your A is 0, output is high. So it will be 1. But when A is 1, at that time, your this PMOS is off and this is on. So because this is on, whatever the output is present, it gets discharged and it turns out to be 0. Whatever high was there, logic 1 drains down to 0. So when your input is high, output is low. That is why it is an in inverter now let us try to explain the cmos inverter function so for that we have a symbol here and we saw this graph earlier also now we will try to explain everything in this graph this is your origin so this graph is actually for input voltage so this will be your input voltage and this y-axis will be your output voltage so input versus output characteristics now we will see in this video to understand the input output characteristics let us divide the entire region into different div, entire graph into different regions so we will try to explain through this table entire uh, progress of the graph how does it look like and it is very important to understand the cmos functionality so let us say that first region is this region where it is called as a let us say so your input voltage is very small it is as good as zero so at that time it will be lesser than threshold voltage also so in this region your this transistor pmos transistor will turn on this pmos turns on and it will go to linear region so this transistor is on and it is linear region since the input voltage is very small so your nmos will be off so this is off and your output voltage will be dependent on since this is very low voltage and your output since this is on output will be VDD will flow from this and goes to output so output will be high so at that time VOH will be the output that is output high voltage so now let us say that your next region is let's say we call it as B so next region will be this region when your transistor is sliding into this region so that is your b region now in this region what will happen is let us assume that your input voltage is near to this region and we call it as vil so input voltage is vil at that time what happens is your transistor is turned on which transistor the below transistor which was off earlier now it is turned on and this starts to turn off but it will still resist at that time because it is still low this voltage is still low and has not turned on i mean not threshold voltage is not crossed let's say that this is your threshold voltage so it is somewhere here 
this region will be the threshold voltage. So it is still lesser than the threshold voltage. That is why you will still see high output voltage and this transistor has turned on and it will be in saturation region. And this transistor is still in linear region at that time. Now when both transistors are on, this is C region. So at that time you are in C region, output input voltage is at VTH, both transistors are on in this region. This is also called as switching region. So at that time your output voltage will also be VT and your both transistors are in saturation region. Now next is your D region which is this region. In this region what happens is your this voltage is let's say when your input is almost as high as high voltage. So it will be VIH and your output voltage will be low. It is going towards low side. So output voltage will be VOL. Let's say this was VOH here. So output voltage will be now lower voltage and your NMOS which was turning on it will be linear and this will go still in saturation side. Now your transistor is turning off. Why? Because output is going low. This input is high and this transistor is starting to discharge through this NMOS and your PMOS is turning off. So if you further increase the voltage that is VDD plus VT0. So let's say this is your VDD plus VT this further high voltage. So at that time what will happen is let's say your input is greater than uh, VDD or maybe equivalent to VDD. So at that time your output is low. You can say that VOL or even lesser than VOL. At that time NMOS is discharging. It is going to linear region. So it is turning on. It is turning on and this PMOS will turn off. Why? Because now it is rece receiving very high gate voltage at PMOS. That means it will turn off and output will be low. So this is how we can explain all the inverter characteristics of CMOS. That's all for this video. We will come up with more concepts in further videos. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.